So we've got these different stages of the life cycle and some of them involve making more assumptions than others. So when we're looking at the, the cradle to factory gate stage of the life cycle, we can get pretty good data for that. Um, we can get um, purchase orders from the sawmill, delivery notes from the sawmill, sawmill. We know what their production is. We should know what their electricity demands are. Um, so we can get pretty good solid data for that part of the life cycle. But as we move through the life cycle, as we go to the, to the use phase um, and the disposal phase, we may have to start making assumptions about what's going to happen to that product, assumptions about what is going to happen to the, um, in the maintenance cycle. And that's where you can start to produce data in LCAs that um, could be disputed, let's put it that way. Um, what has happened more recently is that life cycle assessment has uh, become increasingly um, defined through different standards and for um, the construction sector we have a particular European standard now that everyone has to follow which is called EN 15804 which is going through uh, being redefined at the moment but one of the good things about this standard is it says you have to split the life cycle assessment that you're doing into different life phases. Beforehand, you might just have one life cycle assessment of a product uh, and it just gave you some answers and you couldn't work out what the influence of the uh, production phase was, what the influence of the construction phase or the maintenance phase was. It was all combined into one LCA. 1584 allows you to see what has happened during the first part of the life cycle when it was cradle to factory gate, what is happening during construction, in service, disposal. Oh, each of these is separated out into different categories and we have the impacts associated with those. And that's been a really positive development. Uh, we're seeing a lot of these, what are called environmental product declarations appearing now. Uh, and this is making the whole area much more um, understandable and also it's allowing us to be able to compare different product categories um, in order to get more accurate ideas as to what has a bigger environmental impact compared with other things.